Doing well tonight. Should be lots of yeets tonight, maybe. I'm sure the over-under will be a little higher tonight. Got our box of 1989 Fleer Rack Packs. Lots of corners to screw up. All right, you guys are way too damn quiet. So let's get some chat going. Over under one and a half. I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty conservative there. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Well, at least these are the ones without the inner wrap plastic. That's always a good thing. So, what's going on, everybody? Jared, Chrissy, Civic. Let's get that Griffey. That's right. Some good ASMR for you freaks out there. Start off, we got Robin Yount. And we got Dante Bichette, rookie. Eric Bullock. Tony Gwynn. Nice. Some rookies we don't care about. What's going on, Lucas? Jeremy Coop. Apologize if I miss anyone. Tudor, you got Michael, Jose. What's going on? Brian, okay, let's pan down. We want Bush. We always want Bush. We don't want Sacks. That's for damn sure. What's good, Sharif? You got Chuck Finley. Trammell, Roberto Alomar. Brian Holton, two Yeats. Yeah, this is like the equivalent of two wax boxes, so 1.5 is a little conservative. I don't know. I mean, we shall see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's right, troll. Let's pull some bangers. What's going on, Cole? Games guy, Kyle? Yep, fuck Harold Baines. Dale Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame. Ooh, checklist. What's going on, Beavis? Eric Hansen, Willie McGee. You didn't miss anything. First pack, Matt. White panel van crew members. Oh, and there's going to be a lot of freaking plastic everywhere tonight. So, we're going to have cards everywhere, plastic everywhere. Hopefully we get a lot of clean rips so we can keep it moving. What's going on, Duck Dog? PM Graham? Appreciate you stopping by. All right, damn it, open up. Uh-oh, I got to cheat. All right, hold on, where's the exact knife? Really gonna have plastic everywhere tonight. More plastic than a Kardashian house. All right, Willie McGee, again. The pitch clock, I'm not really a fan of it, but I'm one of those purest people that doesn't mind spending four hours at a baseball game. I'm not in a hurry when I go to baseball games. That's right, Tom, Wade Boggs, rest in peace. You know, I go to a baseball game, I want time to sit and relax. I don't want to have it rush through it and all of a sudden I'm, I'm getting up, you know? I mean, think about all the guys who like to drink beer. You're going to get through like two beers and the game's going to be over. Goose Gossage. Look out. We got some prospects nobody cares about. Kirk Gibson. The thing is, I mean, they're not going to track anyone with the pitch clock. You either like baseball or you don't. Freaking kids aren't going to say, ooh, I'm going to go to the baseball game now because it's a half hour shorter. I mean, oh, we got John fucking Moses. That dude's a boss. Right on the stand he goes. What's going on, Frank B. Rippin? Fuck Harold Baines. That's right. I'll probably get flagged by you two now. We got a Sheffield rookie. I guess we'll throw him back there. You got it, Tom. Thank you. John Moses is a boss. I mean, the one rule I do like is the whole anti-shift thing, because I think the shift is freaking stupid. Having like five people on the second base side, I mean, that shit was getting out of hand. Pretty soon there would have been nine guys on the left side of the infield, you know? So, but they get one rule right and they fuck up everything else. You messing up corners for Tom? I'm sure we can mess up a corner too for Tom. Hey, it's Bill Buckner. Hey, Tom. There you go, Tom. This one's for you. Doug Jones. Treadway. Is it the air? Nope. Angel Hernandez is awful. You got Maddox? Okay. I mean, he is awful. So 
So, would I ever rip a card? Sure, why not? Some nice centering here on these. I mean, to pick off stuff, I mean, not really that, you know. I mean, when they throw over 16 times, another weight box, rest in peace. So. Am I vaccinated? What kind of stupid question is that? Definitely not the question for this place. We ain't bringing politics and shit like that in here. We got Bonds. Oh, we got Bush. We've got Bush. <laughs> I drink to that. Ooh, checklist. Hey, moderators, get rid of anybody that is going to start that political bullshit in here. We don't have time for all that. We're here to look at baseball cards. Yeah, now we need some Oral and we need BJ. We got Bush. Usually it's the other way around. We get a BJ and Oral and then, you know, then we get Bush. But tonight we got Bush first. So, never complain about the order though. We got Bush pretty early in the night. It's going to be a good one. I guess we'll put Sweet Lou down there. It's a joke. You got to go watch uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You get the reference then. There's no crying in baseball. Yep. Lee Smith. Ooh, Harold Baines. Yeet. Serious air on that one. Serious hang time, too. Look at this guy. That's that's almost white panel van material right there. All right, we got to eat pretty early, so that one and a half is not looking pretty good. Oh, Ramon Martinez, rookie. <laughs> Jimmy Dugan. If you pick the over, you're looking pretty good right now. There's a lot of cards left. Do I think he deserves to be the highest? Hell no. He doesn't want to shit. So, Tommy John for you surgery fans. Dale Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame. Fuck Harold Baines. Put Dale up front. There's no way Lamar Jackson's, uh, Jackson should be the highest paid player. I mean, friggin' Mahomes has probably earned that. So, and Brady before that. I mean, they've proven it. So, until Lamar can prove he can actually carry a team to the Super Bowl and win, then no, he shouldn't be paid the highest. We don't even know if he's going to be healthy the rest of his career. He could wind up like RG3 and, you know, develop problems. So, but that, that's just, you know, holy shit, look at this guy. Whoa, fucking caveman right there. Tommy Gregg. If I had to choose one, I don't know. I would just probably not even vote Kirby Puckett. I mean, gun to my head right now, I'd pick Baines because what would we make fun of if we didn't have Baines? But I'd pick none of them. Oh, here we go. Grippy Jr. Nice. We'll put him over here next to the boss. Shirtless Kirby. Oh, we got a Mattingly for the record. Burrow or Jackson? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, if... If I had to pick, just based off of history, I'd probably say Burrow. He's made it to the Super Bowl, but, I mean, I think that's kind of like a toss-up, but, you know. I'm not a football expert, so. Kirk Gibson, yeah, fuck him. Griffey Sr. in your pack? Oh. Oh, I forgot the shirtless Kirby. Shit, sorry, Matt. I'm sure I'll have another opportunity to send you a shirtless Kirby. Just going out on a limb there. Oh, I forgot a section of that last one. Too wrapped up in the shirtless Kirby drama. Gotta watch these corners. Tom's gonna freak out. There's so much damn plastic. All right, we got Mark Grant. Yeah, good ASMR for you freaks, definitely. Lots of that tonight. Ooh, checklist. Lots of ASMR with this one. 
Ah, I gotta make notes down. I'm just getting too old, apparently, you know. For the record, we got here. Kirk Gibson. Fuck Kirk Gibson. You used Barry Larkin's bathroom one time. <laughs> That's a good one. Is that like your claim? Is that like your tagline on like Twitter or something? I used Barry Larkin's bathroom one time. I'm gonna have nightmares of like shirtless Kirby. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, no, you gotta get some chick to whisper in the mic. I don't think I'm gonna do it for everybody. Chipper Jones rookie? I mean, if you think it's gonna 10, otherwise it's really a waste of money. So, you got Bonds. Well, we got Bush again. Another Bush. We've got Bush. Ooh, checklist again. Darnold Cole, Ozzie Smith. Wade Boggs, rest in peace. Well, how many people are Googling Wade Boggs right now? I drink to that. I think we all do. OG going on now, Sal. Okay. Double Bush. It's always good getting Bush twice in one night. It means you're doing something right. I wonder if Tom starts sweating every time I go to open a pack. Wonder if I'm going to nick a corner. It's like very suspenseful for him. My favorite team? Uh, I mean, I'll watch the Yankees, but I'm not huge fans of how they've been running things lately, but so Zane Smith. Yeah, lots of bush. I know, Tom. I know, we know. You get nervous. You're just hoping. It's like, oh, my God, the corner. Charlie Huff. I wish these cars had slid apart easier. Oh, look at the center hand out. That sucks. Another Mattingly for the record. Just move some of these aside for now. I'm going to start piling up. Ron Tingley. Greg Jeffries, look out. Joe Carter. That's the 88 score, 15 bucks isn't bad. And that's not, you know, I mean, it's not really worth anything, but Jim Gantner, definitely in that white panel van. 88 tops for 20 bucks isn't that bad. I haven't bought anything from there yet, so. I should have stabbed right through a card and just Tom will just like literally eat his own tongue. Yeah, I know. Greg Jeffries, man. We had them all. Oh, another Griffey Jr. Nice. That's it. Got a loaded box. Look out. Still got a long way to go. And a lot of 89 Fleer. All right, where the hell is my damn knife? There it is. We need Bo Jackson. We need the GOAT. We need Randy Johnson. We need Smoltz. I don't really care if I get any more Biggio rookies. Um, not. I don't really look for the errors, I guess. I'm not really big on the errors because it's not as though they're really worth anything. So I've got some of like the Tom Brookins and the Mike Heath ones, but I'm not a big error guy. Ron Gant. Well, hopefully. I, don't know, I doubt this is an error box, but I could be wrong. Tom Gordon, man. Everybody got that car back. Yes, we know, Matt. You care about Biggio. I'm sorry. I forgot about the Astros guy. I do not have the Johnson Marlboro card. Never really searched for or went after one, so. We already pulled a treadway. There was no target on it, so it's not a, a treadway error box. So, ooh, checklist. Gonna have mountains of fleer. All right. Paul Molitor, okay. 
No, you can get it in earlier um, releases of the the wax boxes too, and the you just got to find the right code on the box in the case. I mean, so but you can definitely pull the Johnson Marlboro one out of wax. You really just need like an eight series code, one of the earlier ones. Welcome to hot garbage. Thank you very much. Good ASMR. Did you guys get your freak on? Everybody loves 89 Fleer. No sign of Billy Ripken yet, though. Another Lou Whitaker. For the record, another one of these Mattingly's. Hey, Tom, look at the corner. Look, Tom. Tom, look. Here you go, Tom. Hey, Tom, look, look. There. Finished off, Tom. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Poor Buckner. I mean, yeah, I know. The guy had a rough life at the end. Do feel bad for the guy. Brady Anderson, pre roids Tom, <laughs> Tom's still with us. That's good. Way to go, Tom. You survived. Way to persevere. All right. He's wiping away the tears. Right, I think he watches every live stream like a box of tissues next to him. Oh, there he is. I love this card. The goat. 40-40. All right. We like Bush, and we like the boss. I'll put Dale back there, too, but the goat's got to go up front. So, there we go. Plastic going everywhere. Yeah, it's a real shame that Rose and Murphy aren't in the Hall of Fame. It's really a joke, but hey, don't worry. We got Scott Rowland in there now. And Harold Baines. Oh, there's a Smoltz rookie. Nice. We can separate them from the card behind them. Okay, I'll put Smoltz over here next to the goat. Oh, another Griffey Jr. Look out, that's three. Friggin' sweet. Joe McGrain, Jody Reed, Fred Manrique. Awesome. And a Roger Clemens. Got three Griffeys so far. John Smiley, Bly Levin. It's pack fresh. Pack fresh, just like the breakers say. Yeah, three Griffies, and we're probably like a third into the box. So, don't worry if you guys want to. One, oh shit, hold on, I forgot about this section. If you want a Griffy and all, I'll have them ready on Sunday night. So, on whatnot, 9 p.m. Appreciate it, Davis. Thank you for watching. Yes, he's a Hall of Famer, but let's be honest, nobody gives a shit about Burble 11. When we were kids, you know, you ran down to the store with your $2 to buy some cards where you're sitting there going, man, I hope I pull up Burt Blylevin said no kid ever. Come on now. You know, at least none of them that are like my age range that grew up opening this stuff up. Not one of us was looking for Burt Blylevin. You know, I want a Conseco. I want a Mattingly. You know, Dwight Gooden, Strawberry. You know. Who else? Eric Davis was big back then, you know, Clemens, you know, those are the guys that were putting asses in seats and those are the cards that we wanted to pull. Yeah, I'm sure they were rushing to Coors Field to see Larry Walker and his inflated stats. My grandmother could have hit a home run in Coors Field. 
I know, sorry. Oh, we got Oral. Nice. So, Bill Dorn. We got the Eck. He's a Hall of Famer. So is Winfield. So, there you go. Eric Davis would have been a beast if he stayed healthy. But So, Eric Davis had all the freaking talent in the world. So, I mean, what, in 87, I think, what, he was like three homers away from being a 40-50 guy? I mean, he had unreal talent. What's going on, Brad? Eric Davis was friggin' awesome. You know, and he was a hobby favorite, too, and then just the injuries. Just never was the same. I think we're getting a lot of Bush tonight, so... We already got Bush, we got Oral. So far, no sacks, which is good. A sacks free night. Oh, I hated the Reds in 90, though, when they beat the A's. And they freaking swept them. That was really sad. You got Strawberry and Will Clark. See, this is who we cared about back then. We didn't give a shit about Blylevin. We cared about Strawberry, Will Clark. You know, those guys were hot back then. Oh, yeah, that Eric Davis was hot one. Puckett was hot, too. Clemens, Gooden, Strawberry. I mean, all those guys were red hot. Strawberry was like a god around New York, him and Gooden. Just him and Gooden did too much coke. That's what ruined them. I mean, Gooden could have been an all-time great if it wasn't for his issues, you know? Ooh, checklist. You got Paul Molitor, okay. Greg Jeffries, we were all going to retire off of him. Yeah, March Shaw was like a piece of garbage, but, you know. Unfortunately, I mean, not everybody had great owners back then. You got another Trammel. Roberto Alomar again. We got some rookies we don't care about. Saberhagen, some more rookies we don't care about. Can we get a bow? Yeah, three Griffey so far. I'm not even halfway through. I think maybe close to halfway through, maybe. So, looking good. Hopefully we keep up the pace. I don't want to just get three, you know. Got McGuire. And Ricky. This is a hot pack. Incavelia, Pete Smith. Here we go. There's a nice duo there. Puckett and Davis. Definitely. That's some talent right there. You got to look at Puckett's numbers, too. I mean, he was a freaking hitter. So. I mean, you'll never see a time like that with Ricky and Vince stealing 100 plus bases. Or maybe now because they changed the freaking rules, you know. You'll see some new guy steal 100 bases now or try to break his record and claim he's the best base stealer ever. Kind of like NFL players now bragging about their records. Yes, Puckett has a shirt on, Matt. I know you don't care. Well, I mean, it just depends on it. If he bet on if he bet against his own team, then I'd say that he deserves it all. But if he was betting on his team, I mean. Shit, I'm sure they do that nowadays, and it's not tracked. But look out! Sorry, Tom. If he bet on his own team, then you know that's definitely not as as bad as steroids. I mean, that's worse than steroids. So, Wade Boggs, another one. Oh yeah. So everybody was big into steroids back then. Everybody made a ton of money off of steroids. And the thing is, it's like there's a lot of people that are still doing that shit out there. <laughs> I bet you Calvin Ridley did something stupid, though, or, you know, like bragged about it on social media or something, you know. Because honestly, if you really wanted to do it without anyone noticing, knowing, you, you'd be able to do it. Oh, I forgot to do that last section again. But here's the thing. It's like, 
they made so much money off the steroid era. Basically, it saved baseball in 98. But yet, now they want to act holier than now and vilify everyone that took steroids. Thank you very much, Michael. Appreciate it. I mean, that's just some hypocritical bullshit. All the owners, the league, they made tons of money off of the steroid guys. And now they want to sit there and blackball them and, and like I said, vilify them and make them out to be, like, evil. I mean, Bonds, man. <laughs> I'd say Bonds has got to be. you got to look at his freaking numbers. I still go back. Look at those four years. I think it was 2001 to 2004. Look at those four years on the back of Bonds card. I mean, if you look at those numbers and you tell me, like, hell, he could be in the Hall of Fame off those four seasons alone. But, I mean, Clemens, too. I mean, Clemens is friggin'. There's Keith Hernandez for you Seinfeld fans. Yeah, remember, the, after the strike in 94, baseball was hurting bad. Nobody was watching it. But then 98 came, and the entire country, whether you like baseball or not, was watching that. The entire country. It was on the news every night. I mean, what, like I said, whether you're a baseball fan or not, you were following it. Because it was national news. And they made all that money off of baseball then. I have not opened any 77 tops. But yet now they want to look the other way and act cause just because that's the flavor of the month and it's what society wants to deem, you know, being all moral and holier than now. And it's all a load of crap. They blackballed Canseco because he decided to say fuck it, you know, and because nobody wanted him, so. Come to find out everything you said was true. The thing is, remember that moment when McGuire hugged his son at home plate after he hit, I think it was 62? I mean, that's, I mean, that was like a classic moment. I mean, yeah, Poppy failed. To, there you go right there. Poppy failed the freaking test yet he's in because he sucked the balls off every writer. So they liked him, so they put him in. So, Poppy can go in failing a test, but nobody else can get in? Ooh, checklist, you know? That's just the, the crap that's just so hypocritical. But All right, Sabo and Bonilla. You got another good one. Odell Jones. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of people in the Hall of Fame that, that did roids. And players know it. I mean, Bonds was a friggin' beast, though. If you look at him from, like, 89, 90 until 2001. <laughs> yeah, Schilling, yeah, he got... I mean, he basically told him not to put him in, but they weren't going to vote for him anyway. Bunch of stuck-up jackasses and the baseball writers. But hey, let's not put Bonds in, but let's put in someone who never got more than 5% of the vote on the ballot for 15 years. Yeah, he's Hall of Fame material. Okay. I mean, the way I look at it, if you can't get in the Hall of Fame after 10, 15 years, and if nobody thought that you were good enough after that long, that means you really weren't that good. I mean, Griffey, I mean, yeah, his... His career, you could look at it and say, you know, he broke down over time, injuries. I mean, you can make the argument that he's natural. But the problem is, is that you'll never know with 100% certainty. There's always going to be doubt on a lot of people. Dale Murphy, yeah, he broke down too. Another case. Dale Murphy was the 80s in baseball. I mean, he owned the 80s, you know. Another Maddox. I mean, the thing is, I mean, if you go on the regular ballot and then, you know, you, you don't make it and then you get voted in by committee years later. So over those 10, 15 years, they couldn't see enough qualities. Well, so now a group of like 10 people, former players, now they can say, you know what, he really was a Hall of Famer. I mean, come on. Yeah, Griffey had a great shot for it, definitely. That would have been great for baseball, too, because, I mean, everybody liked Griffey, so...
definitely would be a lot more popular as the home run champ than Bonds would be, definitely. I mean, that's for sure. Nice. Everybody give Matt a follow, too. Make sure you follow Matt on TikTok, so. And on YouTube as well. Ah, oh, as much as we love to go, you know he's never making that Hall of Fame. The only way he's getting in is if he buys a ticket. He is the last person they'll ever put in. They'll put in Pete Rose before they put in Conseco. But they won't put in Rose until Pete Rose dies, so. Just to troll Pete. You know, because they'll use the whole morals clause to keep out Pete Rose and other players. Junk wax figure stickers in the store. I mean, there's some it's saying it's out of stock or because it really should never run out of stock because those are printed on demand. Got another monitor. Yeah, Palmero just came across as a friggin' idiot. Maguire too, though. I mean, he lied too. I mean, but they all lied about it. Even Conseco lied too. Your box packed fresh. Brady Anderson again. Another Matt Williams. Going to opening day. Nice. Opening day where? Which stadium? Brookins. That, I don't think. I don't, I don't think that's the error. I got to look, but. Fernando Valenzuela. Yeah, there's no gum in this one, though. Alomar Jr. rookie. All right, keep it going here. Where is Billy? Have not seen Billy yet. We slowed on the Griffies, too, man. I think we jinxed ourselves. We're doing great there for a minute. Three Griffies, we're only a third of the way in. It's gonna be an epic box. Right, it's the white out or the black scribble. One of those two, I know. Oh, nice, that's awesome, Well, Good luck on that. Willie Randolph. Fenway may not be the most, uh, you know, beautiful stadium, but it is classic, though. Hey, everybody. Yeah, yeah, his, his voice is pretty annoying. Oh, there he is, the goat. Put him over here. Actually, you know what? Put him right here, too, for now. That was a Glavin. Okay, not bad. Oh, here we go. The Triple A's. I always wonder why they put Stein back in here. Like, he just doesn't belong. Sorry. He just really doesn't. So, I guess we'll put... Oh, look out. Triple A's over there, too. Henry Cotto Salami. <laughs> that was always a favorite card of mine. 89 Fleer. Yeah, Wrigley's another iconic one, too. <laughs> Your love child. <laughs> Those were fun times back then, though, so. Definitely. Yeah, the new one is just too friggin' gaudy for me. It's like a friggin' museum. That, and I think they took away bacon on a stick, and the garlic fries there aren't as good anymore. Bo Jackson's in here. We haven't seen him yet, though. Man, Tiger Stadium, what was it, like 440 dead center? Remember when Cecil hit one out of there? That was a beast of a stadium, now. All the old stadiums are gone now. 
you know, the Metrodome, you know. Oh, we got Pasquale with his soul glow. Get a seat behind the pole. Yeah, that was... <laughs> At least it was cheap, though, I hope, so. Reggie? I don't think Reggie's in here. I could be wrong, though. I'm not an expert. We got Sax. Yeah, we don't want Sax. Stan Javier and his unibrow. Skydome. Man, another one. There's Mattingly. Okay. Mike Schmidt. That's his last card there. 33,000 Big Mac. Oof. Yeah, Oakland right now, yeah, definitely. Their stadium is horrible. But hell, the city ain't much better right now, so. I've already pretty much completed this set. I just got to finish putting it together in my binder, so. I'll probably make two sets now after this one. <laughs> Beer, cigars, and vomit. Oakland's got to leave, man. There's no future in Oakland for that team. There's no way. They're not going to build a great stadium there. And the thing is, who's going to want to go to a game in Oakland? It's a shithole, just like a lot of the cities out there. Kirk Gibson. Yeah, fuck you, Kirk Gibson. See, Kirk Gibson, and I get an A sticker. How fitting. That still hurts. I'm still bitter. The Cardinals, as far as what? The stadium, the team? Sid Bream. Yeah, Minnesota's new stadium is pretty nice. Although I really don't want to go to a game when there's like snow though, like in April. That's the only thing that would suck. Hundred dollars for the bow shoulder pads card on whatnot. Was it raw or was it graded? Oh hold on, wait, get this section. Edgar Martinez, look out. Let's see, we got four of them left. What's going on, Michael? <laughs> Still not as bad. Hell, Yankee Stadium opening day probably would cost me like $500 a ticket. I can't go to a game and sit in the freaking nosebleed section, you know? I've seen minor league games. They have uh, the Yankees double A team plays at the Yard Goats up in Hartford. Ooh, checklist. I know, Trish is back now. So... Right? 500 is low end. I know. That's the thing. It costs way too much freaking money. Because I, when I go to Yankee Stadium, I got to sit field level. Because, I mean, 200 level up in a good row is not bad, but. Got Ryan Sandberg. That's not bad. First base. Oh, it's what? At Camden. Yeah, that's why. We got a BJ. It's always good getting a BJ. One nut crook. We got so far we got no Billy Ripkin. What's up with that? I'll I'll try to remember to put him to the side, Matt. I'll probably forget though because I'm old. I mean the modern like base stuff. I would say if it's like a a rare parallel, you know, the slabs are. That was a Randy Johnson rookie. Not an error though, so. Uh, you know what? I guess we'll put we'll put these goat cards down here. We'll put Randy up front because the big unit always goes in the front. Yeah, keep that shit out of here. None of us we deal with that crap enough everywhere else in our lives, so. We watch sports and do baseball cards to get away from that shit, so. Yeah, 
you know, always got to put the big unit on display. When you got a big unit, you don't hide it. Yeah, they're definitely overprinting all the base. So, I mean, the base cards won't be worth shit. So, only buy that stuff if you want to collect it, you know. I still buy a little bit because I want to collect, you know, but definitely don't buy it if you think it's going to be worth money. Because they're going to print the hell out of it here, so. Okay, another Pasquale, another filler pack there. We got more Oral. It's always good. We got a BJ, more Oral. We got Bush, Eckersley, and Winfield again. Tom Browning, another Strawberry. You want complete sets. The most of, I mean, probably 87 to 89. I mean, that's, so. Oral, yep, the Holy Trinity. We got Oral, a BJ, and Bush. Yes, we've gotten Oral and Bush, and we've gotten a BJ. So, there's Bo Jackson, finally. Nice. Bo knows the stand. Put Bo over here. Ooh, checklist. I know, we were looking good. I mean, it was looking really good to be over. Another Roiger. It was looking really good. I mean, we were on fire that first section. Three Griffies, a Baines. Up, oh, up, oh, here we go. We spoke too soon. Eek. Ah, some good distance on that one. We hit the over. First time in a while we've hit the over. So, easy, we're always under, so that's a good thing. Haven't even seen a Billy Ripken yet. It's like a friggin' short print, apparently. Will Clark and Palmero. Yeah, our, my Johnson's out, I'm sorry. Definitely not kid-friendly show when I got Johnson's out. My Randy Johnson. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Put my Johnson out and I get a super chat. That's awesome. This is like almost like OnlyFans. Except with baseball cards. Everybody with me? Hello, hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Had to reconnect there. Apparently my connection went shitty. I think my son's on Pornhub again. So, all right, Don Mattingly. Got to tell my son to get off of Pornhub. I think I bought him premium for his birthday. I'm just kidding. Harold Baines hacked me. Either that or my son found OnlyFans. <laughs> Ooh, checklist. Just gotta watch my, my credit cards. Wade Boggs, rest in peace. Yeah, I'm proud of my Johnson. So right there. So proud. Mario Diaz, Scott. All right, the last pack of the rack pack box. My son's 12, so. All right, oh, look at this guy's five head. This dude's definitely got an OnlyFans account. We got Hojo, we got Eddie Murray. Eric Davis, Kelly Paris, he's definitely in that white panel van. He's in the back, though. He's not driving. Carlos Quintana, Mark Grace, Robin Yao, and then Dante Bichette, rookie to end it. Man, we started off on fire with three Griffies. And then the Baines, we were looking good. This is going to be an epic box. Hold on, let me grab the usual. rack pack night so yeah definitely still a good box i can't complain 
just started off on fire and then cooled off. So, just got teased a little bit, you know? I don't like being teased. Thank you. I appreciate you noticing. I've been working out. More ASMR. You ASMR guys are loving it tonight. Let's see if we can pull maybe a Bo Jackson. I bought this box all right on top. We got the goat. I get this card. I think I think we get this card every time. I'm not going to complain, but look, there's another M sticker. All right, we got Dave Parker at the Cobra. This is, I'm telling you, this is like baseball porn right here. Big bats at the first sack. Imagine like these guys were like in a baseball porn right there in the 80s. Glenn Davis, Eddie Murray. National League West righties. Rupik, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got some Greg Swindell rookie. Nice. That's a filler pack, right? 80s poor music with that one. Right, wasn't Glenn Davis basically Murray's replacement almost? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you Orioles fans aren't very high on Glenn Davis. I don't blame you. Got Mike Brown, Darren Dalton, Dutch, rest in peace. I feel like a centering in this crap. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. The over-under. Hold on. We can't yeet Barfield, though. So I'll put Jesse down there. Yeet! That thing didn't go very far. So we got two and a half. That's a half. So we're at two and a half on the Banes. So, ooh, checklist. That's half a yeet, so we're at two and a half. I think Tom's probably conflicted, though, you know, because it's a yeet, but it's it's definitely damage. So, a push, no. I think the over-under was one and a half. Schilling and Finley to Houston for Glenn Davis. Yeah, that, that was an awful one. That was almost as bad as the John Smoltz trade. Well, just as bad, probably. Jim Rice, he's a Hall of Famer. Tony Gwynn, he's a Hall of Famer. Come on, something decent. Home run back. Ugh. Dan Petrie. A Baines, Lee Smith, he's a Hall of Famer. We got, you know. AN Upper Deck Box. Make sure if you buy it, you buy one that's from a sealed case. Don't buy one that's not, because there's a sequence to pull the Griffies out, so just be careful with that. All right, hold on. Let's see what else I can open here. Hold on. Can't end with that, so. Huh. I'm trying to see what else I got over here. Uh, you know what? See, hold on, hold on, I'm coming. I'm still here. All right, how about Tops Holiday Mega Box? We're in that Christmas spirit, so. Put a half a bar field over here. Yo, MTV wraps. Let's see what we get out of here. Probably be a box topper or ornament. Sorry, I hit the camera. Oh man, is it open from the other way? Really? There we go.
I'm so graceful. What do we got here for our ornament? Oh, a Lubob Christmas tree. Nice. Hold on. All right, there we go. We got our packs. Well, my apologies for your new uh, addiction. I'm sorry. I take no responsibility for all the money that you are going to waste. All right, let's, let's check it out. I have not watched any of the XFL. Lucius Fox, Bryce Harper, okay. Juan Moncada, oh, what do we got? You got a Joey Votto short print with the candy cane bat. Look out. That's a nice Votto. We got the foil one here. Bo Breesky. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie. Nice. We got Stanton. Just got to be careful putting him down. Jake Walsh. Candy cane bat. That's it. I'll do I'll, I'll do like a Votto lot then. I'll put that one in it. Garrett Cole, fuck Kermit. Shane Baz, Jaron Duran, Aaron Nola, Max Muncy, and then fuck these landscape cards. Right? <laughs> I mean, this is the worst one to get. I mean, well, maybe not. I mean, Votto's just stuck in Cincinnati, the poor guy. Austin Riley. Jonathan India, we got here our foil one in India again. Not a bad one with the foil snowflakes on it. Alec Manoa, Max Fried, Arenado, Bo Brisky again, or Brisky, whatever the hell. Oh boy, I'm sorry, Cole. But remember to have fun. It's all about having fun. Vladdy Jr. Brian Hayes and Yelich. Just remember, collect what you like. So, oh, we got in here something good. Oh, we got, eh, maybe. I don't know. Got a Yachty. Another landscape Bo Bichette. Yeah, I got like five or six inches. So, there's a Vladimir Jr. of parallel with the foil on it. That's a nice one. Suzuki. I am 47. Oh, hold on, where am I going? That's it. May you be blessed with loads of hot garbage. All right. We got Josh Bell. Oh, we got another one we got here. What we got? Xander Bogarts. Oh, we got a Xander short print with the sleeve on it too. Nice. Lindor. Mount Castle. That's all right. Better late than never. Unless you're like a period, you know. All right, let's see what we get. Hey, I'll take it, you know. Kevin Smith. Oh, we got a foil here. I mean, uh, parallel Arenado. That's not a bad one. So at least I'm not getting stiffs. Matt Olson, Trevor Story, Nimmo. Well, I, yeah, true, yes. So it's always good when money's flowing. Oh, we got a Wander Franco right on top. Nice. World Series this season. Oh, we got our. Hold on, what do we got here? Royce Lewis, rookie. Player worn memorabilia. So we got our patch relic here of Royce Lewis. Okay. Uh, let's see. Colton Welker, Luis Gill. But World Series? I don't know. It's hard to go against the Astros. I mean, as far as National League, I mean, the Padres are stacked. I mean, the Mets look, look decent. I think it's like Padres, Mets, or Dodgers in the National League. I mean, the Braves are are close, too, so. They got the Grom. 
Jeremy Payne, your rookie. Look, Matt. Jeremy Payne, your rookie. Look out. And then we got a Gio Urshela. That's a stiff, a suck one there. Logan Gilbert, Bellinger, Jose Altuve. Talking about trash can. Right on cue, Michael. Look, you called it. Trash can. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Bait buzzer. Connor Pilkington. So. All right. So that is going to do it for tonight. So I appreciate everybody that has hung out with us while we opened up loads of junk wax. Uh, don't forget, Sunday night, whatnot, 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you very much, Rupak. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys are new to whatnot, make sure you sign up using the link in my profile or on the videos because then you get a $15 credit after you sign up, and then I get credit too, so we both win. So make sure you guys follow me on whatnot too. So I'll see you guys 9 p.m. Sunday night on whatnot. If not, uh, Thursday night next week for Junk Wax. And then I'll be rolling out that new... Uh, the modern one, I just got to figure out the details. So pretty soon we'll be doing members only live probably on Tuesday here soon. Uh, I'll post the details of that on the YouTube channel here once I figure out how I'm going to do it. So once again, thank you guys and girls and gals and others for hanging out. And I will see you Sunday and Thursday. Have a great weekend. Be safe, you know, and I'll see you Sunday night. Take it easy, guys and gals.